The online gaming industry made $91 billion last year, with more than 2.5 billion video gamers playing all over the world. But with the fun comes fear. Fortnite, Call of Duty, Minecraft. You know the names and you know the games, the ones your kids spend hours playing. In fact, they're spending an average of 10 and a half hours a day online. Video gaming addiction is our only behavioral addiction that's defined currently on screen. But with that addiction means more exposure to bullies, hackers, even predators. Whereabouts do you live? Southampton. Me too. You should come over to my house so we can play together sometime. I'll get my, I'll get my dad, dad to come pick you up. A lot of times kids can be online for hours a day talking to one particular person or a group of people without parents knowing. There's parental controls in most gaming consoles that you can set so that you can maybe disable the chat feature. Those are a couple of ways to protect your child and they need protecting. One in five U.S. teenagers who regularly log on to the internet say they've received an unwanted sexual solicitation. And sometimes those solicitations come in the form of advertisers. Some of that is marketed online during video games. So you're not going to protect your kids from that kind of content if they're playing video games without parental controls. Online bullying, another gaming concern. A July study from the Anti-Defamation League reports that 65% of people have experienced severe harassment, including physical threats and stalking when playing video games online. If you go on any gaming platform and listen, you'll hear enormous amounts of vulgarity and psychological warfare. If you get your opponent rattled, then it's going to impact their gameplay and you might earn points that way. Let's go taunt them yeah, we come back here. Bullies can take an emotional toll on gamers, but hackers are looking to financially sabotage. You should use pseudonyms instead of your real name. Certainly don't give out any private information. The best case scenario is good supervision and good judgment as far as what kind of activities you allow on their devices. With no rules to follow, this adventure it's up to you. Bottom line to helping your kids navigate this nearly unavoidable virtual world. They need to know that you're involved in their virtual world and you have to join them online because that's where they spend much of their lives. I can smell fear. Oh God, I'm scared. Our online safety expert, Dr. Tracy Bennett, has written a book on the subject. It's called Screen Time in the Meantime, a parenting guide to get kids and teens internet safe. She gave another great tip for parents. You can change the settings of your child's video game to private play, meaning you can pick and choose who they play with online so they play only with friends or family.